Good day everyone! In this video, we're going to discuss the accounting procedures for production losses in job order costing. Production losses can be generally classified into three types, scrap, spoilage, and rework of defective units. Scrap is a residual or leftover piece of material such as trimmings and sawdust. Scrap normally occurs in a manufacturing process. Unlike scrap, spoilage is avoidable, unusual, and do not occur in every production run. Spoiled units have mutations that are either irreparable or are too costly to repair. An example of spoilage is wood that has started to rot due to unintended exposure to elements. A defective unit is a unit of product that has not originally met product specifications. Unlike spoilage, a defective unit can be technically and economically corrected. A chair's broken leg and a crack on a table surface are examples of defects that may be easily reworked. Scrap may be material or immaterial. When scrap is considered material, it may be accounted for either at the time of sale or at the time of production. Scrap is often only recorded at the time of sale to minimize accounting. When scrap is traceable to a specific job, the sale is recorded as a deduction from or a credit to the job's work in process. Otherwise, it is recorded as a credit to factory overhead control. If scrap is recorded at the time of production, scrap inventory is debited for the scrap's estimated vessel value. Once again, if scrap is traceable to a specific job, it is recorded as a deduction from or a credit to the job's work in process. Otherwise, it is recorded as a credit to factory overhead control. The difference between the recorded amount and the price realized on the sale of scrap is adjusted to the account credited at the time of production. When scrap is considered immaterial, it is simply credited to sales, other income, or cost of goods sold at the time of sale. Spoilage can occur for various reasons. Let's have a furniture manufacturing company as an example. The company had worked on job number 101, which called for the production of 2,500 customized blue bridge chairs. There are three independent scenarios, and in each of these scenarios, 1,000 chairs have become spoiled. The 1,000 chairs can still be resold at 100 pesos each. All in all, the company produced 3,500 chairs, of which 1,000 were spoiled and 2,500 were delivered to the customer. The total cost for all 3,500 chairs amounted to 640,500 pesos, which was charged to the work-in-process account for job number 101. In scenario A, the spoilage was due to the change in customer's order. Spoilage that is due to the customer or is attributable to a specific job is charged to the job at cost less disposal value. In this illustration, the cost of the 1,000 spoiled chairs is already included in the total cost of 640,500 pesos. However, there is a disposal value of 100 pesos for each spoiled chair. Hence, spoilage inventory is debited and work in process is credited for the total disposal value of 100,000 pesos. This has the effect of decreasing the cost of work in process. In scenario B, the spoilage was due to using rotten wood. Spoilage that is due to internal failure, or one that is common to all jobs, is charged to factory overhead control at cost less disposal value. The spoilage cost is computed as a total cost of 640,500 pesos divided by the total number of chairs, 3,500, times the number of spoiled chairs, 1,000. Hence, work in process is credited for 183,000 pesos. As in the previous scenario, spoilage inventory is debited for the total disposal value of 100,000 pesos. This time, factory overhead control is also debited for the spoilage cost less disposal value. In scenarios A and B, the spoilage was considered normal. Normal spoilage is spoilage that is considered within the acceptable level. In scenario C, on the other hand, the spoilage was considered abnormal. Abnormal spoilage is spoilage that is considered beyond the acceptable level. Abnormal spoilage is charged to a loss account at cost less disposal value. 
Hence, loss from abnormal spoilage is debited for 83,000 pesos. The cost of reworking defective units is accounted for in a similar manner as spoilage. In scenario A, the rework was due to the change in customer's order. Rework that is due to the customer or is attributable to a specific job is charged to the job at cost less disposal value. Hence, work in process job number 101 is debited for the rework cost of 50,000 pesos, with corresponding credits to payroll and applied factory overhead for 40,000 pesos and 10,000 pesos respectively. In scenario B, the rework is due to poor carpentry. Rework that is due to internal failure or one that is common to all jobs is charged to factory overhead control at cost less disposal value. This time, factory overhead control is debited instead of work in process. In scenario C, the rework was considered abnormal. Abnormal rework is charged to a loss account at cost less disposal value. Hence, loss from abnormal rework is debited. And that's the end of this video. As always, you can ask your questions in your respective Facebook groups. In the next video, we're going to discuss accounting for factory overhead. See you!